Well, the Great Barrier Reef is a national and international icon and we take our environmental responsibility very seriously. We farm 400,000 hectares adjoining the Great Barrier Reef. Some people have described this as probably one of the most challenging environmental gigs on planet Earth. But we're up for it. Not only are these rows straight to a two centimetre accuracy, they're repeatable across this whole field. That allows you in, uh, in five years time, when this crop cycle's ended, to come in and know that, uh, that this is the area that's growing the crop and, and this is the area that's the traffic zone. This is a creek that runs through the middle of our property and my kids and I've, even when I was small I used to come swimming down here all the time. So it's something that I don't want to pollute to. We're right at the top of the top of the last farm at the top of the hill so we don't want to cause any fertiliser and all the inputs are very expensive and we don't want to waste them either so we want to use them to the best, best that we can so we just, um, like I said, I think every farmer in the whole industry would want to protect the land and that's what we, their main aim is. We've got a powerful vested interest 
to make sure that we're farming this land sustainably. One of my colleagues always says to me, the great thing about the sugar industry now is that the environmental driver and the economic driver line up. The two coincide. Best practice environmentally means optimum economic outcome for a farmer.